It was much to our surprise when we saw Nintendo update the game a few days ago to version 2.0.6. This was the first update patch since February, and Nintendo was pretty vague about what they actually adjusted within this update. Well, thanks to data miners, we now have more information on why this game and actually others were updated around the same time. In fact, the reason for doing so could have been pretty darn serious, so let's take a look. Prominent Nintendo data miner Oatmeal Dome has shared that Splatoon 2 Arm, Super Mario Maker 2, and Animal Crossing got an update. They say there were multiple security vulnerabilities which could allow an attacker to crash your game or run arbitrary code remotely. These were fixed by the updates. The bugs were found in a library called ENL. Nintendo uses this library to help them build netcode. Because multiple games use ENL, every game that used it had to be updated to patch the security holes. The remote code execution bug was the most severe, since an attacker could run any code they want on your Switch. For example, they can send code that deletes your save. That being said, what they could do was limited because games run at the OS's lowest permissions level. So, I know this might sound a bit confusing and worrying to some people, but don't worry because this has been addressed and fixed by Nintendo before anyone could do any harm, and it seems like at this point there wasn't really much they could have done anyways. Now, to try and simplify this for those of us who don't really get all the technological terms that are going on here, there were security vulnerabilities with these games that all shared the same pieces of code. Therefore, Nintendo had to come out and update the games before anyone could do any harm. You also might be wondering how Nintendo knew to fix this before anyone could do anything bad with it. Well, as this user explains on Twitter, it's a bug bounty. The person who discovered the bug sold information about it to Nintendo so they could fix it before it became public knowledge and before people could exploit it. I believe this is a fairly common thing that happens. After all, Nintendo can't find out about every single bug and exploit with their systems. So it's good that this one was fixed in time before anyone could do any damage. I do understand that this is probably disappointing to hear as an Animal Crossing fan who wanted to see some kind of Animal Crossing related change, even if that was just some kind of bug fix or something, but sadly it really doesn't seem like that's the case. But before we get too disappointed, I would say it's still possible that Nintendo will come out with another type of patch before the end of the year. After all, there are so many issues that they need to fix and address within the game. And of course, they still need to add those 2023 and beyond balloon arches if they want things to feel complete. I wouldn't get your hopes up either way though because we know what Nintendo is like, but maybe they will after they see the reaction to this update. Anyways, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more.